Air Prop! I'm Jay Urish. Join me as I complete flight school and enter the fun and adventure-filled world of general aviation. One, two, testing. Uh, one, two, two, one, two. Very good. You back there? I can't hear you. It, uh, gotcha. There we go. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Loud and clear, loud and clear. All right, here we go. We are on MFD. We are 27th of February. Plane would shut up. 27th of February, we are good. Get very rid good. of that. Get rid of my advisory here. All right, we will check out engine system. Reset Roger. fuel, and gallons remaining is 53 minus 1, Very and good. back, back. All right, radio set. We are currently on 121.875. We are on ground. We are good for, for that. Uh, let's get the weather. 5-3, Zulu. Wind, 1-5-0, at 0 9 -er. Visibility, 1-0. Sky condition clear. Temperature zero three Celsius. Dew point minus zero one Celsius. Altimeter three zero two five. Three zero two five. Density altitude minus one thousand. McKinney National Airport. Automated weather observation one two five three Zulu. Wind one five zero at zero nine -er. Visibility uh, thirty degree one, offset zero. about. Four and a half Sky condition across. clear. Temperature zero three. <clears throat> All right, you were saying uh, thirty degree offset of wind versus runway direction. You'll be taking off runway one eight. Winds are one five zero. At a nine knot uh, direct headwind, that'll be four and a half knots crosswind. So perfect. All right, very good. All right, let's see. Transpond. Uh, where are we? ASOS. We got flight instruments. Uh, let's see here. What are we? Uh, let's go to nearest. Well, uh, you're going somewhere though, aren't you? You gonna ready to go uh, to nearest, or are you gonna go to oh, we're, ATA? We're in a KATA, aren't we? Right. So, yep. So direct to D. Direct to KATA. Oh, D. Little go. knob once to the right. A A T A. T -A. How convenient. A A T A. And enter, enter. There we go. All right. Perfect. All right. Looks like oh, due east. Transponder, 1200, CDI soft key, we're in GPS, taxi clearance will obtain. Kind of wait in here for the oil temperature, it's right. dead stone cold. All right, yep, we'll just let it sit there a minute. I can sit here and relax. We're still nine minutes. Oh, yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah, I'm not, not concerned about that at all. Not concerned at all. Go ahead and procure the plopper protective eye gear for just a minute. As you know... Hey, what? Let's do move up so we're not sandblasting the hangar so much, so let's... All right. Get on the yellow line there. We can taxi. It won't do it. The oil's no problem with taxi. All right. I'm going to do a quick brake check. All right. Here. Let's see. Hang on. Boom. You want to check yours? I'll check mine. I got controls. You have controls? Controls. The brakes are good. You got controls. I have the controls. Bad news is you're going to have the sun in your eyes all the way there. Well, that's why I have these awesome aviators. Let's sit here for a minute before we call. Um, we'll throttle there for us. While you got time, set up your nav two for Texarkana weather. Get that here in just a sec. Pitches right. and stuff off my optics. and ASOS right here. Uh, uh, do do the AWOS. I think that's Texarkana. 19. Let's 9 see 7, here. Go to COM 2. Get on it. Oh, that's not what you want. 
Damn, I can't see the button. There we go. So I want one nineteen seven seven five. All right. I go. I put that in active here at standby. I put it in active. Nope. 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 Uh, there you go. There you go. Right. Remember, that's always standby and active right there. And uh, we will we'll put the uh, a multi com in when we uh, get close. One twenty two nine. Roger. Now let me see. Actually, I was looking at Hall Miller Common. C oh yeah, one twenty two nine. I was talking to Jerry, and he was telling me that in the FBO where they meet, they actually have a radio in there, and then there's a loudspeaker. Okay. With, uh, but it's on the radio's inside of a closet, but there's a microphone hanging on the wall. <laughs> okay. So anytime anybody calls on that frequency, they hear it in right. there. So he can walk up to the microphone and okay, talk to us. Uh, Clearing nine for nine here at the uh, air center, ready to taxi for the porch wheel. They saw. Clearing nine for nine, McKinney ground, runway one eight, taxi via Bravo three, Bravo Bravo one, run one six zero eight, altimeter three zero two six. Three zero two six on your altimeter. Clearing nine for nine. Three zero two six. McKinney Ground Airport one four. I'm Kilo Taxiway Bravo and Connectors at Bravo five. I would like to proceed South Alpha to the end. Airport one four proceed South Alpha to the end. Airport one four proceeding South Alpha to the end. How'd you give a call? Time we taxi down there, it'll be fine. Right, right, right. One, four, I'm Pio, that's the way Alpha. Thank you. Four, one, four, Roger. There, you get it on there, big boy. Spin up those turbines. Good morning, McKinney Ground. This is Skyhawk 190, Mike Echo over here at Monarch. I have the numbers. Uh, I would like to uh, taxi for a VFR departure to the east. And also like flight following to Kilo Alpha, Tango Alpha, if possible. One nine zero Mike Echo McKinney Ground, room one eight taxi be Alpha Bravo one. All right, we're gonna go Alpha to Bravo one. One nine zero Mike Echo and runway one eight and runway one eight. Thank you. Mike Echo Squawk 5134, departure frequency 124.3. 5134. 5134. 190 Mike Echo. Thank you, Jeff. Very good. Going Bravo One, just go ahead and just do the run up in the run up area. Yeah. Okay. Let's do the instrument taxi check. Ah, thank you. In commencing instrument taxi check. Uh, compass is alert, indicating the correct direction and full of fluid. The airspeed indicator is zero, climb indicator is zero. We check artificial horizon. Artificial horizon's alive. It's skid slip is alive and functioning. Okay. Barometric pressure. Barometric pressure, 3026 matches it. Well, you're looking for within 75 feet of field elevation. 75 feet, oh, okay. 589. 589. Oh, the field elevation out there is 280 feet. <laughs> yeah, they're almost in the ocean. Yeah. Yeah, pattern's going to be about 1,300 feet.
Steve, how long has it been since you've been up in the air? <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, how long has it been since you've been up? Oh, it, it, uh, I, I've been up in the last year, just I haven't been out in command in a while. Oh, okay. We need to fix that. I need a biannual. Go to see Dr. Freed? Yeah, or you just need if, to I, if I go see Dr. Freed. Oh, when you, buy, you also need to be get your check ride? Well, the biannual would be a check ride. Oh, okay. I'm still a noob, still learning all the cute little turns, all the well, special turns. I assume Jeff gives biannuals. Oh, yeah. Well, I'd need a lot more than just a regular buy. Yeah, yeah. The minimum is hour ground, hour flight, but, you know, rarely is it minimum. Well, my problem, Jeff, is the, the avionics. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I, I couldn't I couldn't work that Garmin 1000. I'd say you're way too close here. If a jet comes, he's going to hit us. Uh, uh -huh. If you're going to swing around, keep it close in. So let's go to that corner. Go down to that corner, then swing around. Don't get any further than... The edge of the taxiway there. Go down, down that corner? Go down here. Yeah, okay. just go down here and swing around, face uh, into the wind. I'm going to face that way anyhow, because winds are from the southeast. Right over here. How about that? Yeah, very good. That's better. you got to go to B1 anyway, so. There we go. Very good. All right, here we are. Back. All right. <clears throat> Checklists before takeoff. Parking braid, I'm sitting on them. Passenger seat upright. Oh, Steve's good. He's strapped in. You're good. Okay. You're strapped in. All right. Doors are locked. Handles down. Handles down. Flight controls. Back window's fogged up. I can almost not see my rudder. Oh, I can see it. All right, we're good. Controls free and correct. G1000. No red X's. Altimeters. Six. They match. Altitude bug. We're going to uh, probably take off, and I'm assuming we're going to get 3,500. Let's go to 55. 55? Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, da -da 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 little two bug instruments. There. Oh, crap. Looks there. It's good. Uh, fuel quantity, we're literally running out of the top of the tanks. Mixture, rich. Fuel selector, both. Trim. Uh, set for E, takeoff. If I can show off, 1800 on the nail. Magne commencing magneto check. Going left. I have 1720 on the left mag. Sounds good. Reset. I mean, recover. 1800. Right mag check. I have 1710. Sounds good. Recover. Vacuum. Vacuum is high green. Engine instruments. All nominal. We're oil. We are good on temperature even. Amateur, we are charging 0.5. G1000 enunciators, nothing enunciating. Uh, idle check. And she's purring like a kitten. Uh, throttle friction, I'm happy with it. Calm nav frequency, we are on. Let's flop on. over it and put in regional departure. Uh, One, regional departure. 124.3. Right, no, no, you had it right. 124.3. Okay, so we'll be talking to them as soon right. as we get up in the air. That's correct. So we are on 118.85, we're right. on tower. Uh, let's see, flight plan as required. CDI soft key, we're in GPS. Right. Autopilot is off. However, I'm going to turn it on. I'm sure to write it. The button works. Uh, flaps, we will set for 10 degrees. 
Takeoff briefing. Takeoff briefing. All within. Uh, this will be a left seat takeoff. We will be departing runway 18 with se uh, 7200. 7,002. 7,002 7, feet available. Uh, departing to the south and then pro being turned to the east once we get with departure. Uh, we have 53 gallons of fuel available. Actually, probably now 52 due to run up and everything else. We will uh, rotate at oh, what, six knots? 55. 55 knots and climb out at uh, uh, B VY. VY. What, what is VY? Uh, VY is rate. Yeah, but what is the number? Uh, 74. Right, 74. 74. We have an engine fire, failure, or malfunction. Prior to rotation, I will pull. The th I will idle the engine, apply the brakes, advise ATC of intentions, and exit the way if possible. Uh, we will abort takeoff if not off the ground by 50% of the runway. After rotation, but less than a thousand AGL, I'll pitch for 65 knots. Uh, actually, less than a thousand. I'm still going to have 10% of flaps, so that would be flaps 65 knots since we have some flaps, right? Yeah. Okay. And then I'll land on a uh, remaining runway no more than 30 of center line. Above 1,000 AGL, pitch for 65 knots, uh, and return to the uh, departure end of the runway. Above 2,000 will be treated as an in-flight emergency, and I'll run the appropriate checklist. Do you have any questions? Do not. All right. Off briefing is complete. Transponder code is good. Five, one, three four. Three four. All right. Over to the runway. All right. My question is: Is there some new grooves in the runway since that plane landed yesterday? That would have been some killer footage if somebody had been rolling camera. Uh, Lights on, we got everything, lights, camera, action, we are ready for clearance. Bikini Tower, Skyhawk 190, Mike Echo holding short 18, ready for takeoff. Skyhawk 190, Mike Echo, Bikini Tower, proceed on course, runway 18, clear for takeoff. All right, runway 18, clear for takeoff, 190, Mike Echo. Seat. Might need forward trip. Hard. 
I noticed that it definitely took to the air awful, awful oh, yeah. handily. <laughs> Go on. Uh, keep quiet because he's going to call. We're not going to call a regional approach to about 1600 uh, MSO. Roger that. To 1100 feet, come to course 089. 089 and 1100. Good on traffic. Let's get your flaps up. This is my deck of contact, regional departure site. Contact your regional departure. Good day. Hot. Right. Let's turn to zero. Regional departure. Right, Good morning. Expect a visual first. Twenty-one three left. One through that. Cessna 5, two off, please exit the DFW class, Bravo Airspace. Contact Fort Worth Center, 124.87, take care. 2487, have a good morning. Uh, let me call him first. Capital okay. 3599, any interest in the RNAV whiskey? And we'll climb to uh, 55. 5999, we'll roger, depart, direct, uh, direct, direct, knock me, expect your RNAV with the RNAV approach. Very good. And regional departure, Skyhawk 190, Mike Echo, 1,700 for 5,500. Second 10, perfect, 190, Mike Echo, regional departure, radar contact, DFW, 3023. 3023, 190, Mike Echo. We go. Top with 5074, would you like to RNAP whiskey approach, uh, runway 13 left? All right, climb up to 55. Top with 5074, ready to depart, red and direct, knock me, expect the RNAP whiskey, runway 13 left, approach. Uh, only negative about going east in the morning. <laughs> yeah, that does suck just a little bit. It's okay. Southwest 3635, we'll throw that whiskey in there as well if that's... Uh, so, here in a little bit, they'll turn us Southwest over to Fort Worth Center. Uh, Roger, you can expect that as well. Will do. And uh, Martech 658, regional departure, radar contact, and uh, stay altitude, I missed it. Martech 658, Roger, thanks, and uh, you said you're landing Palestine. Martech 658, Roger, thanks, how to maintain 5,000. Southwest 3635 for the sequence, flooding 070, maintain 5,000. I think 070, maintain 5,000, Southwest Contact 658, I'm in the altitude, maintain 4,000, I'm just keep you on that southeast on heading, try to get you direct tyler just south oh, of Dallas. We've got 24 knots coming from you south, we're going to have to crab a little bit more, see how you get pushed to the... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm playing with right. it. Right, 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 right. Uh, I'd probably make it zero 09, I'd probably make it 100 zero zero on my heading. 090. Uh, 100. Zero zero. I'm sorry, 100. Zero zero. Avionics like if you ever had aeronautics like this Southwest in your plane, 599, about one five miles from Knock Me Cross, Knock Me Cross, third R nav whiskey runway one three left approach. It's really not that complicated. Actually, they have a simulator you put on your computer when you needle and that diamond line up. You're properly crabbing. So come a little bit more right. Come to the right. You got to drag it towards you. Right about right, a little bit 
more. They can leave it about right there, see how that works. Martech 658, expect to direct Tyler turn uh, five degrees right. That's the current track bug. When you in a, I have a GPS course in or a VOR radial, when they line up, you're probably correcting. So look at that, you've got uh, 20, got 36 knots now coming from your south, pushing you to the north. That's why you've got a 20 degree crab. Southwest 5074, two, three miles from Knock Me, cross Knock Me 4000, cleared on now, Whiskey, run I one three left approach. Zero Mike Echo, contact Fort Worth Center, 132.02, safe flight. 13202, thanks for the help, see you later. Uh, 190 Mike Echo. 3202. There you go, that's it, 02, flop it. That's Fort Worth Center, November 190 Mike Echo, with your 4100 climbing, 5500, headed east. Mike Echo, Fort Worth Center. Good morning, Majors. Altimeter 3028. 3028. 3028. 190 Mike Echo. There we go. So they'll give you altimeters all along the way. Thousand to go. And the air is just perfect. Oh yeah. God, is it clean? The good wind, but it's not gusty at all. So we got to make sure we don't get to IMC with this cloud deck here. We'll keep an eye out on it. I don't see anything above us. All right. Well, it's made okay. below us. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'm here all week. Spirit Wings 38, contact Fort Worth Center 126.57. 2657, Spirit Wings 38. get up to uh, cruise altitude and I finish the cruise checklist, I'll uh, hand you control, or I'll have you uh, toss me the foggles, All right. and hand you the controls and uh, don the foggles for a while. Alright, very good. What's the fuel flow? Fuel flow, right now we're probably about 15 gallons. We'll lean it out to, uh, up here, we'll probably lean it out to about 7, 8 or so. Fuel flow right here. Okay, yeah, got it. Right. Flow is 13.5. Easy right. peasy. Your feet to go. November 732A1 at 5000, direct to clear. 732A1, Forward Center, good morning. You're clear direct to the uh, Longview Airport, Greenville Major South 73029. 3029, 2A1. Direct Longview, 381.
make your power about 2450 or so. How fast can this thing go? The we can hit about 110. I'll leave it right there. You want to push it in a little because when you lean it, it's going to go down. All right, system, lean. 9.5. It's probably going to be good about that. Tough a little bit more power. That RPMs comes down when you lean it. Make about 2450. There we go. That's good. Alrighty, crabbing way too much now. I know, I'm fixing it, I'm fixing it. You gotta drag it towards you. Drag the needle towards you. Come left. kind of crept up on me here right. just a pinch. I'm going to clean that up. That's one that very nice. Very nice, good. Take off, normal take off, short, short, cr power set, trim is, <laughs> trim is beautiful, and mixture is leaned out, that okay. completes the juice checklist. Uh, reach into the glove box right. and hand me some toggles. Right. The use of this, best use of this training opportunity. Okay, I have those. You have control of the plane. I've got control. You have got control. Bearings 202, 4 Center, good afternoon, call maintain, bubble 230. 230, Sphere 202, good day. Yes, uh, departure bearings uh, 1163. All right, uh, I have control. You've got control. I've got control. Bearings 1163, 4 Center, I'm at the second, call maintain, bubble 230. All right, call maintain 230, Sphere 1163. I just wish they had uh, foggle sunglasses. Yeah. Actually, the optical illusion I'm getting right now is to totally IMC. Yep. I mean, I might as well be right through cumulus clouds. I mean, it's crazy. Contact for Center 126.57. Good day. 126.57. Good day. Uh, 126.57. Good day. Three wins 11, six, good day. There's Greenville right there. Greenville Majors Airport. There it is right there. Bearing in mind that I am in instrument flight. Very good.
you got to drag the needle to you. So you got to come right. The needle will line up with the diamond. So you got to drag the diamond towards you. The CDI course deviation indicator will come in. Watching that. Oh, for worth, Merc 914 out of 11 one for 17,000. Merc 914 for center, you want to call me, team, bubble 230. Found a 230, Merc 914. Good. Well, 
I'm looking good. You're flying good. <laughs> I'm glad you combed your hair this morning. Yeah, exactly. Santa's actually pretty quiet today. Not a lot going on. American 914, got a 4 center, 126.57, good day. Good day, 265, sir, American 914. That, that the pilots do that. Eh. Right, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're center, this is uh, right. a freak. That's, uh, let's just monitor. Just in case, because he's going to turn us over here in a little bit. A good crosswind. Yeah, very good. Yeah. We got 30, 37 knots. 37 knot crosswind. Good morning, Center Smiley. Thank you. 67, 12, and 17. We'll find the nearest. 19, 67, 4, Center Red, going to Bubble 230. Okay, Bubble 230 is from 8, thank you. The wind's always blowing in your face. Yeah. Good morning, Apple Golf, Contact 4, Center 126.32. Good day. When you're doing your instrument check ride and the uh, instru or the ins inspector uh, <coughs> examiner is looking at you, what is your maximum altitude deviation? Uh, generally 100 feet. Okay. feet. The reason that flashes when you're 200, 200 feet off is that's where ATC, this guy, would start yelling. Good morning, call the day, follow 230. After 230 and after 360. Now, if you get below your minimum en route altitude or your minimum is on a descent, you fail. I mean, if you're 10 feet below, you busted. Height is safety, and they have minimums for a purpose. So for instance, if we're on the hub at nine departure, which this would be, one east, 5,500 is the minimum. 5,000, actually, you'll be 5,000 because your instrument. If you're at 49, you just failed your test. Look down there, Jay, you'll see your favorite sulfur springs down there. Past the lake. Oh, there it is. Runway dead ends into the lake. Right. Sure, it's 1967, Captain 4, Center 126.57. 2657, throwing 1967. Good morning. We've got about 35 minutes. You're looking at it on four flight. It doesn't even look like we're not even halfway there yet. Are you not? Uh, it was about 120 miles. You're about 76. You have an 11 knot tailwind though. Oh yeah. She'll give us a little headwind on the way back. Well, 
like that guy that set the uh, trans transatlantic record, got up in the jet stream. Favorite uh, YouTuber mentor pilot was talking about him. Jet three six six kind of four seven one two six point five seven. Twenty six six seven three six. In the green one, is out there, but it's 3029. 3029. Not the time when you want to learn how to fly. Yep. They all want to know why I'm so cranky on my, not my first, not my second, not my third, not my fourth, but the fifth flight of the day in August 15th at 6 o'clock at night. They want to know why I'm cranky. There's Mount Pleasant. Sit down. Oh, we're on both, so theoretically, shouldn't it be draining from both? Well, yeah, but you've got a vent on your left wing. Your approach, check your You're pressurizing that vent there. with ram air, incoming air, which is helping to push the fuel down faster on the right five, tank, four, on the left two, tank, two, four, than the right tank. The green major's out. Temperature is 3029. That's why usually you'll see your left vent. You can see it right here. That makes sense. the vent because you got to replace the uh, suction with air otherwise you'll have fuel starvation which is not good for your flying career yeah double 5750 got it for center 126.57 good day 56 take care sir. that little tube by your uh, left strut yeah that's the vent that is really a critical position and I oh. like it but it really is yeah. Right and they're You'll get into studio. They have not both, available. Both wings. Okay, so now we don't have traffic on your traffic information system. You're too far from DFW to get the rebroadcast to transponders. 
That's right, we don't have ads be in no. not yet, do we? Not yet, nope. You have it out, but not in. Yeah, Steve just had to put the ads be out on his airplane. Yeah. The, uh, did the beacon thing, didn't you, Steve? Haven't done it yet. Oh, it's still sitting on the tool bench? January the 1st. That's when it was due. Never thought that time would get here, but oh. it did. Two Fox Shot contact, three port approach, one one nine or point nine. Good day. Pretty smooth for you. I mean, as far as uh, no gusts or thermals or anything. That'd be a great day for a check ride. That was a good day yesterday for Cole. He did really well. I'm glad to hear it. When you got cold air like this, you're developing horsepower. Oh, yeah. Good density altitude, low density altitude, great performance. It was minus 20, minus 2,200 feet yesterday. Steve, I went researching last night, seeing if I could find documentation for your novice license, and I couldn't find anything, even in archived old call books. Oh, it was back in, uh, well, I guess 74, 75, 76, somewhere around there. I think they, I think they sent me a notification in like 78 that the number would go away if I didn't do something. I think the, the, the initial novice license was only interim. You, you had to, uh, 
Pass the novice and do get another or do another pass another exam before you could uh, novice and then well they had always had the general the advanced and the extra. I never got good enough with uh, code to go to general. But we have a little surprise for you when we get to Atlanta. Think you still remember all your theory? I don't remember anything. We're going to find out. We're going to plop you down in front of, we're going to have a, a VE test session. We're going to put you down in front of the test and see how you do. I hardly remember Ohm's Law. <laughs> I over E equals okay, R. And, uh, Matt, Fort Sierra Alpha, just start a VFR descent to McKinney. Fort Sierra Alpha, Roger. And, uh, how's your descent to McKinney, VFR? Hello, mate, thanks, VFR. It's just like a uh, E6. Point four, worth uh, 775 Echo out of uh, 11,300, climb to 17,000. 775 Echo, Fort Worth, 9, climb to 10, follow level 230. Okay, climb to 10, follow level 230, 775 Echo. Heater's working pretty good. Yeah, I've seen it get too warm on it now. There's our third one, two, four point three. We've got a leak over okay, here. Twenty four three, right four zero. Now, now, Pleasant's just ahead of us here. And good news, the heater's not putting us all to sleep. Right, exactly. That brings up a point. Uh, a lot of pilots have a carbon monoxide detector in the cockpit. We don't have one. A G1000 has one. It does. Yeah. At 2,500. 47354 Fort Worth Center, major out center 3029. 3029, that's now 47254. I'm messing with your trim every time I lean forward or backwards. <laughs> Makes me a better pilot, Steve. Try to stay in the middle. Actually, what's really screwing me up... Okay, 2657. What's really screwing me up is when the winds are shifting. Good morning, Delta 1935. We're climbing out at 11.5 for 17,000. Delta 1935, forward center, climbing tank call 230. Delta 230, Delta 1935.
Weber, 47354. Traffic is 3 o'clock and 2 miles. So looks to be northeast bound, slowly converging at the same altitude, 3,500. We are looking for the traffic, that's now 47354. Golf contact four. I'm sorry, long view approach one two eight point seven five. Twenty eight seventy five. Nine two seven. Good morning. Santa Cruz Ringo seven eighteen. Good morning. Out of uh, fifteen three for one seven thousand. Seven eighteen forward center. Climb in ten five. Two three zero. Climb in ten five. Two three zero. Spring ring seven eighteen. Thank you. There's Mount Pleasant, Steve, just off the right strut. Yeah, see the smoke out there? You can tell which way the wind. Yep. Used to fly this quite a bit over to uh, ELD. Still 1935, forward center, 126.57. 12657 for Delta 1935. We'll see you. Nice runway. That's yeah, nice. We, I was there a few weeks ago. Fort Worth is just at 319. Just at 319, Papa Fort Worth Center. The major altimeter is 3029. 29. There's a 319, Papa. Clear direct pilot. The pilot is at 319, Papa. I'm right, going to go over to Texarkana here with an uh, arrow, push by pushing it in. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to look at weather. Here's the weather at Texarkana. Over center, uh, good morning, southwest 5551 out of 12,000. Direction of variable of three knots. So. 5551, forward center, climbing to 230. 230, southwest 5551. Get an airport advisory at uh, Atlanta. See what uh, what they're landing. We get closer. Probably be some smart ass that responds. Contact forward center one two six three zero three four three zero three four. Good on you. Be some smart ass that responds that you need to land wheels down. Yeah. Nine or zero, Mike Echo change to my frequency one two three point nine or two. One two three nine or two. One nine zero, Mike Echo. Uh, yeah. And just Fort Worth Center one one nine zero, Mike Echo with you one eight nine two five. Fort Worth Center one nine zero, Mike Echo with you at fifty five hundred. Zero, Mike Echo, Roger. Thank you. Text scan out three zero three four. Three zero three four. 190 Mike Echo. Very good. That'll be the last change out till we go over to the advisory frequency of 122.9. So put your advisory frequency in 122.9. VFR case to advise the frequencies approved. Oh, 
they continue to remain light, uh, we'll be coming from the east. We could do a, um, they go out, do a teardrop into the left downwind for a, a zero five. This will just come in like that. Drop in. Yep. I love doing my teardrops. Roger. The last yeah. one I did at Lancaster yeah. was just beautiful. I, I said zero five actually meant, uh, yeah, it would be zero five in that case because this would set up for the left down. That was 5551 Center 126.53. Pull up a plate here. We're coming in like this, right from the east. So we'll here drop like that. Get close, we'll cancel VFR flight following. About 20 miles? Yeah, I would say uh, uh, maybe about Five 15. Delta Sierra, out 10 minutes, 3033. 3033, Five Delta Sierra. Five Delta Sierra. 319, Pops, contact, long view approach 128.75, good day. Now Joe Bozo would just do a straight in for runway five. They just get to zero five zero and straight in. But you don't want to do straight ins because you can't uh, see what's going on in the runway. You can't see the, you can't see the traffic pattern. So you always want to do a pattern downward, base, and final. In this case, the teardrop will allow us to do that. Here's a little trick. So we got a direct to uh, ATA. Uh, back. We'll do this. Uh, direct to and enter. Resets the course line from our current position. And if I go to Omni Bearing Selector Mode and I put in the runway heading of 050. Look here. Now you got something you could intercept. That's your extended runway. Okay. We'd come in, we'd come in like this, and we teardrop in. Yeah. With our 752, 40 center, Clementine, fall 230. That's, if I can't see the runway, I don't know where it is. I get myself an extended center line. At least I know what I can intercept. So off of OBS mode, and we're going to go back to direct to and and There we go. Jay, if we call in, we get a traffic advisory to ask what runway, you know, if we get some consensus, if the runway uh, 2 3, uh, we'd fly over the field. We've done this before. 50, we'd fly over the field, for now, go out a couple three, miles, zero. do a right teardrop into the left downwind, left base will land 2 3. That Perfect. Would, yeah. Top of 3009, contact 4 center 126.5. That is the longest runway they have, which is what, 3,800 feet by about, so it's pretty narrow, remember your runway illusions, 
if the runway is narrow, you're going to come in a little bit higher than you should because you think I'm sorry, you're a little bit lower than you should because you're thinking high because it's so narrow. So you tend to have too low of an entry. On a narrow runway, you have too high of an entry on a wide. I don't know if they have uh, a Pappy or a out. Vazzy or uh, Let's see him. Three five four two whiskey, Roger Ritter, sir, terminated squawk, 1200, free change approved, good day. On the way 3752, contact forward center 126.57. I'm just going to check Texar Canner again. What I do here, Jay, is I push the range knob. I notice I got a flashing cursor. And I use this like a pan or like a joystick. Like a joystick. And I'm going right to Texar Canner. Get right on the airport, right there. Then I got to hit the enter key. I got a weather. 3456 Yankee 1010000. Uh, just showing variable of three, so very light. Altimeter 3034. Uh, 3034 on the altimeter. Good. That will look good on traffic. I can't tell. Actually, I can. I'm flying instrument. All right. uh, but we have no traffic available uh, on the screen. Well, that's useless. We have ads be in. Right. So we'll give them a call. Let's go ahead and cancel flight following. That way we'll start descending down a bit. Forward okay. center, uh, November 190, Mike Echo. We'd like to uh, cancel flight following. Here, Mike Echo, Roger. Uh, sir, terminated squawk 1200, free change approved. Good day. All right, thank you very much. Have a great weekend. All right, so let's squawk 1200, go to transponder. That's what I want to transponder, right, VFR. VFR. There we go. Boom. All right, and let's change to advisory frequency, 122.9. All right, we'll just listen. Give them a call, so Atlanta traffic. That's a, yeah, Atlanta, is it Hall? Is that at Hall Mill? Yeah. yeah, so Atlanta. It's Atlanta, Atlanta traffic. Atlanta traffic. Just tell them you're uh, basically uh, 17 miles to the west at 5500. Like to get an airport advisory, find out what runway they're landing. Atlanta traffic, Skyhawk 190, Mike Echo, 17 miles to the west. Like to get a traffic advisory, see what uh, runway might be in service. We're landing. Red Airport? Uh, Hall. Atlanta Hall, please. Yeah, that ain't me. Say again? Uh, please repeat your traffic. I don't think he's there. Crosswind the downwind departure one seven north. That wasn't it. Right, let's start coming out and out to Let's come down to three thousand five hundred initially. That's got mixture for rich and eighteen hundred. Downwind. We're so high, we're getting a lot of airports that are on 122.9. I have the controls. Uh, you've got controls. I got control. Uh, 4,200 for 3,500. 
those away. Roger. Gilmer traffic, Acer 251 South Papa, 10 miles west of the airport, 2500. We're cramping this way, so it's going to be more this way. It won't we'll make it easy. What are you doing? Just hold it right there. Third traffic, ball 152, hotel Sears, left base for only eight. It's on order, Bob. Third traffic. Nose down. That was Santa Carter 227 for Quebec is leaving the area to the north. Let's go to I don't have a visual on it yet. Be it up there. I give a call and let them know you're 10 miles to the west. You're going to set up for a uh, left downwind for runway 5. Atlanta traffic, Skyhawk 190, Mike Echo, 10 miles to the west. I'm going to set up for a left downwind for runway 05. Atlanta traffic. Thank you. Commerce traffic, 459, Sarah Papa. Left downwind, only one haze. Come on, The sun and the little bit of the haze is kind of hard to say, so. What we'll do is we'll go outbound a little bit, so. Arc Delta traffic, mall 152. Hotel Sierra's runway 8. Final, I said Arc Delta. You want to get about 25 gird, gird, traffic. Traffic. power back in. Final for 8. Gird, gird. because of the wind, so. You'll find this will happen, Jay, when just like Come we're heading traffic, into the sun, you got top. some haze, Left not real clear. Oh, Romeo, Tango, you up? What we could always do is just fly over the field and then do left traffic for uh, uh, two, yeah. three, if we wanted to. I think that's it over there. Give a Fox even traffic car to 227 for Quebec is three miles to the south. Uh, working on a 45 degree entry into a left uh, downwind for 18. Come on. Commerce traffic 459 hours there. Papa final running 18. Commerce traffic. Do this, go to. Skyhawk 190, Mike Echo, uh, setting up for downwind on runway 05. Uh, we're five miles out, Atlanta traffic. Well, can you hear? All right, thank you. We should be to the right here, Jay. I just ain't seen it. Got a little bit closer. 
close. I keep an eye out for traffic, right? Because we're close. Sit here. Steve, do you see it over there? I'm not picking it up yet. Just uh, parallel it here, basically. Play right at Archer 2. Gilmer traffic, Archer 227, for Quebec, turning left base for 1 8. Gilmer. Is that the runway there? I can't quite tell. Gilmer traffic, Mason 2515, Papa's approaching from the left. Gonna cross over the top midfield. Do what? Let's do this. Uh, left down, right uh, the go to that. I gotta I go to uh, that mode. Do direct two. Alright. You wanna do that? Enter, enter. Skyhawk uh, 190, Mike Echo. We can actually cross over the field at 2,500, set up for the left downwind for uh, runway 23. Uh, Land of traffic. 23. Demon Fox, Stephen Archer, 227, Berkeley. Turning for 184. It's right there, right in front of you. Just pass over the field and we'll go out. Check altitude. All right, that's fine. There we go. Gecko, we're crossing over midfield at uh, 2,500. We're going to set up for a left downwind for runway uh, 23. You more traffic space, 2515, Papa turning left base, runway 18. But Jay, what we can do, sir, see the runway here now? Uh, I see yeah, it. Mike, what I did, I gave us a direct well. two so we can fly over it, because I wasn't seeing it real well. We'll just, since winds are light, we'll just set up for two, three. So, what we'll do, like we did over at Mesquite or whatever, we'll go out a couple of miles, do a right teardrop into the left downwind. And let's shut off the flight director there. You got controls, Jay. Yeah, we're at 26. I have the controls. Now, we're going to be coming down, if you recall, the field elevation is low here. It's 300 feet. So we'll be coming down to 1,300. Let's go out a couple of miles. We're at 0.7 miles now. Just aim right for that green field there. will be good. That will give us enough room and time to make that right teardrop. And we're not actually turning within the pattern. We're higher than everybody else. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Turn off. I'll be out of your way. We'll go out two miles and then we'll start to set it down to pad an altitude of 1300. And you'll do your right teardrop. All right, guess both. Let's do our before oh, long checklist. And we never did switch tanks. We wanted to do All that. Right. Yeah, we'll do that on the way back. Gas, undercarriage, All right. uh, mix full rich, All right. seat belt. power, seatbelt, light straps, lights, right. flaps, straps, and flaps. Very good. We are checklist, or engine checklist complete. Very good. Point two to go, and then we'll start coming right and descending down to your pattern altitude of 1300. Here you go. Let's start coming right. Make a quick call while you fly. And land of traffic. Uh, Skyhawk 190, Mike Echo, now executing a right teardrop into the left downwind for runway 23. Land of traffic. Zero, 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 five, zero. Which is the reciprocal. There we go. There's the airport right there. And you're looking like a pretty good distance there. 
emergency traffic, 152 Hotel Sierra's exit powder at 1,000. The runway right there? Uh, See it? Yeah, perfect. Okay. You're good. You're perfect. I'd say could probably line up with right there with kind of like with the smoke there. That's what it point right good. at the smoke. Right, yeah, exactly. And looking for about 050. Very light winds. It's uh, mainly from the south. A little bit of a right uh, wind from the right, not too much. Crab about 055 or so on your heading. Take a look. And uh, Atlanta traffic, Skyhawk 190, Mike Echo now entering left downwind for runway 23. Atlanta traffic. There we go. And you want to come down a bit. Remember, we'll come down. Okay. You good? Excellent. Good. Come left just a little bit. We'll get parallel there. Looking good on traffic. Okay. I'll pull your power back. All right. All right. Let's Here do about. I feel like you need some back trim. There we go. There we go. All right. Go ahead and pull my power back right. a little bit. In, uh, 17. Right. 10 degrees of flaps. Looking good. Override the balloon. We'll get to about a 45. So now you're at 13. So we want to lose 200, right? Keep an eye out for towers since we're not familiar with the area here. Keep coming down. Looking good. All right, there's 100 loss. All right, let's start turning base. Land of traffic, Skyhawk 190, Mike Echo, now turning left base for runway 23. This will be a full stop, Atlanta traffic. All right, down here. Yeah, look about right there is good. All right, 68 knots, all right, there you go. But you need a little bit more power. Right there. All right. And let's start turning fun. Atlanta traffic, Skyhawk 190, Mike Echo, turning left base to final, runway 23, Atlanta traffic. I pull that power back a bit, because we're high. Make it about 15. Remember, we're a narrower runway here, so... And they do have a, a uh, Vazzy there. Right over white, you're gonna fly all night. You Good. got it. Go 30 degrees of flaps, pull your power to 13. It's well high. We want one red and one white. And we got about 15 knots of crosswind coming from your left, so we'll have to crab a little bit. And get a little bit of right rudder in to get it lined up. Looking good. Keep coming in. Right, we're 76 good. knots, a little bit fast, but we'll be okay. There we go. Atlanta traffic, Skyhawk 190, Mike Echo, short final, runway 23, full stop, Atlanta traffic. There we go, just keep coming in. You're going to get a red here momentarily. Got a power line right there. There we go. That's All scary. Right. Yeah, okay, there we go. All right, go ahead and start, 23's identified, start pulling your power. And let's hold it off. Oh. Hold it off, hold oh. it off. Looking down the runway. Hold it off, little right rudder, hold right. it off. Ooh, there you go. All right. All right, start pulling back on your yoke, a little bit of lighter braking, and then increase the brake. There we go. Pull back on that yoke. Jay, a little bit of left rudder there. Oh. Rudder, rudder. Okay. There we go. All right, I got the rudders. I got the rudders. I got the rudders. Yeah. A little over control. All right, you got it now. You got the brakes? Yeah, I got the brakes. Right, you got the brakes. Okay, good. And we'll just exit down there. I just take the full length, let her coast. Roger. Were we kind of side skidding a little bit there? That's well, hard. yeah, you, you didn't have enough rudder in there. Ah. Uh, you had a little side load. It's always you telling me more rudder, more rudder. That's right. You just don't. You, <laughs> and then sometimes you do do a little over control, which is very common. Over control is probably more common than under control. And you give a call, let them know you're exiting uh, end of the runway at Alpha. Atlanta traffic, Sky 190 Mike Echo, exiting active runway at Alpha. Sky uh, Atlanta traffic. Very good. That was a good example of never been here, didn't quite know where the runway was. Safe thing to do is let's fly over it above pattern 2500 in this case and uh, take a look at the runway. We set up for the opposite landing. It was winds were pretty light, so but it did favor uh, did favor the south flow. All right, we'll get past the whole short line and taxi on down. Do you happen to know which uh, hangar it's in? Uh, or is there an FBO? There or? should be an FBO. Oh, okay. Got it. Good. Saw a lot of people standing out there. Oh, they're probably saying, who's this bozo landing? Yeah, they were making fun of I'm them. sure. They probably have pictures. Uh, go ahead and get your strobes off if you want.
Good landing, Jay. We live through another one. Oh, yeah. There we go. I'm not going to beat myself up on that because it is the plane is heavy. So oh, yeah. A little, and, a little and bit. You will find very different flying characteristics when you have somebody in the back seat if you're not used to it. I mean, we, rarely we've had it what, once, I think. Two is a little bit heavier than Steve. What was comment? Get your fat ass in there? <laughs> Used to put a couple of tool kits back in the back. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in the baggage compartment <laughs> to get that ass key so I can. <laughs> okay, let's see if they have some uh, T's here. I don't know what's over there. Yeah, okay, good. That's where we're parking. That's today. what we're doing. All right, and that would be Jerry. All right. That win that wind sock showed you just That's pretty much how. We're good. We're, I'm just keeping her straight. It's always right. slow. All right. I do any more skids. All right, so we got to park in that T. So uh, let me take, let me help you with it. It's a little bit tight, so I got controls. You have the controls. I've got controls. This would have been good practice for me, though, Jeff. I know. You're cheating me. Well, I'm not getting my money's worth. You I want a everybody, refund. Everybody looking, you don't want to be embarrassed. Yes, I do. <laughs> I have no problem making mistakes. Oh, yeah, there we go. I only do it once. All right, All right. you got it. Thank you. All right. Uh, I have the controls. You've got controls. All right. So now we are doing the. We're doing the. Sh just shut down. Right. We'll have to worry about times okay. at all. Idle control is idle. Right. Avionics master is off.